This table here, right? It says, why aren't you vegan? It doesn't say, why is everyone else can't beat them, join them. Do you go out and kill people? No. There's still murders that happen in the world. Yeah. If you can't beat them, join them. I don't want to spend the rest of my life in prison. In a world where it wasn't illegal. Give it a go, why not? If, if not going to prison for it. You would kill someone just to give it a go? Just give it a go, yeah. <laughs> Being a vegan, do you know what that even is? Not eating meat, innit? Or yeah. any form of um, anything that comes from animals, right? So basically, veganism is seeking to exclude all forms of exploitation and cruelty to animals for food, clothing, or any other purpose. All right, okay. So does that sound like a pretty reasonable position? I mean, yeah, but I mean. Think about animals, right? Why do they even matter? Like, why does that pigeon there matter? Like, if I booted that pigeon, why would that, why would I mean, that matter? There's no, it would matter, because there's no reason for that. Yeah, but like, let's just say my reason was it made me, I, I got pleasure from it. I boot the pigeon, I get pleasure, right? Yeah. You eat the chicken, yeah. you get pleasure, right? Yeah. The outcome for the bird is probably worse when you eat the chicken. No, because, I mean, they're dealt humanely. I mean, booting a pigeon is pretty rough. But, I mean, in, like, you get the chicken batteries, I mean, wait, wait, to a wait, certain... Wait, you know that they're not... Wait. You no. think chickens are treated humanely in the UK? Well, you've got open-range chickens. They, they, they live in free, a field. Like, free-range chickens free chicken. live in a field. The ones that you eat. Oh, I don't know. Well, the reason, I'm, the reason I'm being all surprised is because you rarely ever will get free-range birds that people eat. Yeah, fair enough. I'll you, you, you're talking about eggs, maybe. Free-range <laughs> eggs. Like, you go into the supermarket and you'll see, like, free-range eggs. Well, I mean, you can eat the chickens there, though, surely. They do kill them to eat them later, but that's after like yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's, that's it's after still... laying eggs every single day. Do you know what happens to the birds when they lay? Like, think about a bird, right? And when they push out this egg, yeah. Like they obviously don't in nature push out one every day. You yeah. could imagine push like a woman sort of giving birth every single day. Yeah. Like, what happens to their body and? Yeah, it's probably will end up being a bit rough on it, but we so, need eggs. You need eggs. Yeah, good high protein. It's good for you. Do you think like you need eggs to be healthy or to survive? Not survive, but to be healthy. Yeah, it helps in a balanced diet. Okay, so let, let, let's just wait a second. You think booting a pigeon is wrong? Yes. What if I create a crazy hypothetical situation where booting a pigeon is actually okay for my health, right? But there's also a situation where not booting the pigeon, I can get the same health benefits from, like, plant foods. Yeah, but, I mean, at the end of the day, yeah. It's do, you, do you understand that yeah, hypothetical? Yeah. Like, I'm just basically saying, like, obviously a chicken is abused and killed so that you can have eggs, right? True. To an extent. I wouldn't say, like, abused, abused, but... Let me ask you, like, you say that tre chickens are treated humanely. Like, what do you mean by the word humane? I don't know. They're killed in, like, the least painless way possible, I guess. Yeah, but when you say treated humanely, don't you mean, like, from... From birth to, to death? Well, I guess so, yeah. I mean, like, think about it, but the word humane, right? You, like to say I was to humanely treat you, would killing be a part of that equation? Killing you? Well, yeah, I mean, if you do it like... Would that be humane? Well, if you do it quickly and painlessly, yeah, it's humane. Okay, so next time I go to... I'm, 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 in, I'm in the courtroom and there's a judge there and I've, I'm, I'm in trouble for murder. I just tell the judge, well, I, I did it as quickly as possible. <laughs> no, fair enough for that would one. Would that be humane? Do you think about how bad... Way, I mean, you've got, like, killing where it's, like, it's rough, like, you drag it out. Okay. Do it as quick as possible. It is humane. Well, compared to torturing someone, it's more humane, but it's not humane. <laughs> think about it, bro. Yeah, if no. I shot you in the head, right, like, right now, I could have the gentleman standing behind you shoot you, you wouldn't feel it, right? Yeah. The act of killing you is inhumane because you yeah, don't no. want to die. <laughs> Yeah, but I mean, a chicken doesn't know any difference, let's be honest. You wouldn't know any different either, well, because you'd be dead. Well, yeah, I'm dead, so it doesn't but matter. Why is, murder, why is murder bad? There's a difference between an animal and a person. Okay, here we are. We are at the perfect spot. Thank you very much for that segue. The difference between an animal and a person. You know that I've done this before, right? Yeah, yeah. So we have a pig here. Yeah. Um, you see this pig is with their young. Yeah. So that, this pig and this, they have eyes, a brain. They're experiencing the world. They're sentient, conscious. You know what sentience means? Yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. conscious. Yeah, yeah. Pigs have these feelings too. Maybe you can think more abstract and construct, you know, different thought patterns. Some people can't. But what I want to know is you said there's a difference between... Yeah. There, there obviously is. Yeah, there is. But yeah. what about what we have in common? I mean, the only thing we have in common is just, like, living, really. That's No, because that, that tree's living. Yeah, but you wouldn't see a pig go and start up a business, would you? Wait, wait a second. Do you think the metric for for not for murder being justified is is whether or not you have started a business? No, it, it was an example. There is a, there's a line with it that you can cross. Yeah, there is plenty of differences between us and animals. But I'm talking about what is the difference that justifies killing the animal? It's an edible food source. That is. You are an edible food source. Nah, not really. A dog is an edible food source. Yeah, that's just wrong. It's a, it's a dog. You're not explaining. You're just saying it's wrong. Yeah. You're not explaining right. why it's so, wrong. So, you've got like 
you household pets, and then it comes to farm animals, cows, chickens, all that, they're fine. But because Why? some it's something that is loved and cared for, then you don't want to eat it, do you? Wait a second, mate. You just said that animals are treated humanely where you get them from. Yeah, they, aren't no. they, so in your eyes, they're loved and cared for. So why would you no, eat them not. domesticated animals that are loved and cared for? No, but you wouldn't eat a dog who are domesticated and loved and cared for. I mean, no. Pigs, chickens are raised solely for the purpose of at the end of its life is killed to be fed, yeah, to, be fed to people. Yeah, and I'm asking you why that is justified. Well, you could just say, oh, I'm, I'm farming them for food, so therefore we can do what we want to them. Exactly, yeah, you farm it. Because so it's a so renewable okay. food source. So if I farm any being for food, what I do to that being is therefore justified because I want to eat them. I mean, you guess it is, but still, it's just Think ethics, of, really, isn't it? You're, it's like, so it's you're, you're lumping in all beings when you say that, when you use this justification. Because uh, that's your justification. If we were in some, in some hypothetical universe where if we didn't eat other beings, we would die, then I guess, like we would have a justification there. I still think that the other beings were having their rights violated and maybe we were the oppressor there. Maybe we shouldn't exist and they should be able to because we're, we're the killers in that situation. Yeah. But I'm just saying, like, we've got other options. All right, what would, what would your argument be to turn me vegan? For the same reason you shouldn't kill people. Like, basically, people... Because what you're saying is, like, people can start businesses. We're not all people. We still protect the ones that can't. Yeah, but you can't live a life purely on just plants. How long do you think I've been just eating plants for? I don't know. How long have you been? Eating Nearly plants? 10 years. I just don't think you need protein in, yeah. in a diet. So, you don't get the proper protein in a plant okay. that, that you would from, like, a pig. Let me just say this to you, because I don't want to debate health with you, because I, I, yeah, I, I no, do no, know no. a lot about it, because you probably yeah. don't. No, oh, no. It's clear that you don't, because no, no, you just said no. that, that you can't get protein from plants, which is the first thing you learn when you yeah, start no. eating plant-based, that you can get protein. Protein is found in all plant foods in varying degrees. So no, if right. you knew you could be healthy, let's just say this, so it stops the health debate. If you knew you could be healthy, would that mean that raising animals for the sole purpose of killing them to eat them, would you think that that there was wrong? Because we have... You can, you can get what you need from plants and we have another option. Know, Would it be I, wrong if you, if you could get what you needed from plants? No, not really. Oh, yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Because yeah. you need a justification to do that to, to someone. Beings, their personalities, yeah, I mean, their... The justification is just purely because it's, you know, it's food. Yeah, but think about the beings. You know what animal rights are. You've got human rights, right? If I yeah. kill you right now, it doesn't matter if you feel it or not. I've, I've violated your rights yeah. to, to exist. You should have sovereignty over your... Your being, your consciousness, your, you're a subject inside of you yeah. experiencing this. You're not just the experience, you're the subject experiencing the world. Animals are also subjects of a life, right? So when you kill them, you are taking away their right to have sovereignty. They don't ha they don't, they're actually, they don't have any rights to treat it as property, right? But your, your reason is because I want to eat them. It's not because you, you will die if you don't. It's because you want to. Nah, I just prefer it like, I'd... yeah it's a preference exactly yeah. it's a preference right, fair enough yeah it's a preference but is there preference to live stronger than your taste preference if I, I like it I'll eat it mate that's, <laughs> it's, 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 <laughs> imagine if I said that to you I was about to kill you and I was like you know because like, there are some cannibals hey serial yeah, killer cannibals yeah, yeah. yeah so this is actually a pretty good hypothetical it actually is a perfect analogy you, you're gonna die think about it yeah. you don't want to die do you want to die I'm not fussed mate you do, you're not fussed <laughs> I can't, I can't, I can't win with you then. I don't want to die. Fair enough. Yeah, I don't want to be killed. I, uh, and I wouldn't want you to be killed, actually. Because I, I think that you, you, you say, uh, like to me, that you don't care if you get killed. But I think it's, it's like, different in that situation. Well, I mean, if I'm put, like, go on, point blank in my head, then maybe, yeah. You'd be, I'll be, you'd be I scared. Would, I'd, be, I'd be bricking it a bit, yeah. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, because well, you don't know what's going to happen. You don't know if it's going to go black or you don't, yeah, if, no one knows. If it happens, it happens. Yeah, but that's, that's different to... Is it okay to murder because I want to eat you? I wouldn't say it's murder though for animals because they don't know it. They don't. They don't know any different. Well, the, the animals have their own desires. They are subjects. You know this too because you said, "Oh, they're treated humanely," so you obviously know they can suffer. Yeah. I mean, yeah. So yeah, I mean, obviously, yeah. They've got feelings. Like, if you don't go around booting animals, do you? Yeah, but 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 if they if they don't know any better, why why do you why does that matter? Well, if they don't know any better, then there's no harm, no foul. Then you don't care if I boot a pigeon. You said it's no harm, I mean, no foul if they don't I mean, know any better. They're a disgusting animal, but yeah. yeah. No, but they're not. I mean, it's a bit, humans are. We we are the most disgusting. Yeah, that's fair enough. But still, because there's no need to boot the pigeon, but there's there's no need to eat the meat. Boom. No, but there is there is a need. <laughs> what is the need for you? Like, but for me, you've got like, like I said, you've got just taste, just having protein, everything in it. I so just taste enjoy. is pleasure. Protein you can get from plants, so you can't use protein, bro. I'm sorry. Oh, fair enough. Yeah, but taste is See. pleasure. And if I if I got pleasure from killing um, beings, do you think that's a good enough justification to kill the being? Because I'm getting a little bit of pleasure. That's their whole life gone, so you can have a bit of pleasure. Yeah, but it 
it feeds loads of people yeah but you could feed loads more because you have to feed the animals first before you kill them so all the plant foods go into the animals like it's a bad use of resources it's not a good argument nah, fair enough i just because what do the cows eat and what do the pigs eat and what do the chickens eat they're eating grains and silage and, and harvested grass. crops and grasses that are harvested they have to grow them on on cropland to harvest them and feed to the cows yeah like all i'm saying is that that f so people can eat argument just works against you because we're f feeding most of the, the plant food to animals to eat them first to I eat them next i just think because the whole like meat industry, farming, all that, it's such a high revenue and it's like you can't just abolish like eating meat because it will have effects on like yeah. income for loads of people. Yeah, but what is more important in that situation? Like you don't care about the beings? <laughs> what about, who, who's got it worse? The 80 billion beings who are being enslaved and killed, it's actually, when you include sea animals it's trillions because there's one to three trillion yeah. little beings being tortured and killed often often most of the time tortured and then killed or this this economy would need to change what do you think is more important i think the stability of the economy is more important okay. and they would have ag agreed with you actually in america before the ab they abolished abolished slavery you can't compare slavery of humans to, to animals i'm not equating humans and animals i'm not saying they're the same beings i'm saying that one of the arguments to keep slavery in america was the economy argument was that it's going to ruin the economy. That didn't justify doing that to uh, human beings, and it definitely shouldn't justify doing it to non-human animals. Even though we are not the same, they still share in common with us the ability to suffer, feel pain, desire freedom and well-being, and don't want to die. I'm not saying a pig is a human. I'm saying that they share something in common with us, and you can't use economy to justify killing humans or animals. Uh, I, I, Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I I'm not saying no, that. I understand what you're yeah, coming yeah. from. I'm not saying you're the same as a chicken, and maybe we, if there was a decision between you and a chicken, like we should kill you. You know, you don't have to say, "Oh, you're saying that they're better than humans, or that we're the same beings." That's really offensive. All I'm saying is, we don't need to kill neither, and we shouldn't use these silly econ economic arguments or they taste good arguments to rob their sentience, to rob their life from them. At the end of the day, you're never going to stop it. So, so we shouldn't try. You're never going to win. Yeah, but like, uh, okay. vegan is never going to... But this table here, right? It says, why aren't you vegan? It doesn't say, why is everyone else... Can't beat them, join them. Really? Do you go out and kill people? No. Okay. There's still murders that happen in the world. Yeah. So why don't you, just, if you can't beat them, join them? Because I don't want to spend the rest of my life in prison. <laughs> okay. In a world where it wasn't illegal? If it wasn't illegal... To just kill random people, like, you know, not for any... Not because they did anything wrong, I'm just saying... Just, just give it a go, why not? If, if I'm not going to prison for it. You would kill someone just yeah, to give it a go? Just give it a go, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, though. Like, yeah, you, you, can't, you can't stop all the bad things from happening, yeah. but you don't participate in it because you have a moral... I would take that as a... I think you're joking. Just You don't really want to... You wouldn't no, really... No, no, I wouldn't actually kill someone. Yeah, you no. wouldn't actually just for no reason... Unless I get a free pass. Unless they're, <laughs> unless they're doing something super bad, like yeah. then yeah, maybe maybe you'd think about it. But all I'm saying is that like, just because there's bad things happening in the world that we can't stop, that doesn't mean we sh it gives no, us no, carte blanche no. to participate in that too. My, my my question to you is: if you believe these animals matter morally enough to treat them humanely, you believe that there's someone in there experiencing suffering, and you think it's wrong to boot a pigeon and things like this. So isn't it wrong as well to murder them? It's it's not wrong. Murdering other people is wrong, yes. You see how you have a contradiction there? Yeah. Murdering people is wrong, not, uh, murdering animals is not wrong. It's not wrong to kill an animal. Why not? Well, I mean, to a certain extent it is. Like, obviously, cats, dogs, just any lovable pet. <laughs> but farm so, animals... So your favourite species, the ones that you decide matter, not the animals themselves. There's a line that every person will say the same. Where's a line? Farm animals or like, fine, fair game. But any household pets that you take in, live in your house. What metric are you deciding this this ethical framework well, here? It's just whatever. Like I'm the saying, standard is. What, in what is the metric for you to protect cats and dogs and to destine farm animals to slaughter? Like what what is it about these animals that is so different from these animals that you would protect the cats and dogs and kill the farm animals? What is the difference like? I couldn't tell you, but it's so they're the same, eh? <laughs> they just no, look different. This, it's just a standard across all people. You don't cross. It's just the line you don't cross. Everyone say the same. I it, okay it, it, do, you know what, do, do you know what speciesism is? You are. Do you know what speciesism is? Just like treating different species wrong, I guess. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of like, like racism, but for animals. 
It's, it is. It is. It's discrimination, but with horrible outcomes. It's like it's like if you took a pig and a dog, right? Like some species of animals, you, obviously you can treat them differently based on for, for very specific reasons. Like you're not going to treat a worm the same as a dog because they have different needs because they're a different species. But what I'm saying is, when you grab a pig and you grab a dog, right? The only differentiating factor between those is species because pigs they're almost identical to dogs intelligence all of these things say people had been eating like just it was the norm for like hundreds of years like it is any other fa- uh, farm animals to eat dogs cats then yeah everyone would eat dogs and cats and it wouldn't be you'll be fine do you think because everyone does something it makes it okay yeah pretty much yeah do you know that has hilarious implications and gruesome implications in what way? If everyone does something, it makes it okay. What well, do you mean? To the point where you can't stop it, yeah. It Think just, about it. That. Just be, no, if, it, if something happens, like, mass, like everyone joins in, and it just happens to the point where you can't stop it, it eventually just becomes the normal. Yeah, it becomes the normal, but I'm asking if it's um, morally good, if it's morally okay. Just because it's normal or everyone does it, that doesn't then make it okay. That makes it a social norm. Yeah, it's, that's, that's what I'm on about. It's just... Yeah, but if it's a social norm, that's different to morality. You know that, right? Yeah, I guess. Like if everyone was killing, um, I don't know, children or something, uh, children with red shirts on and everyone joined in on it and thought they were witches or something and started killing children yeah, with red shirts. that would just pass down would, would for that... so long that yeah, eventually yeah. it would become moral. It would become... No, no, there's a difference between yeah, morality and yeah. social norms. But it will come to the point where it no one will think any different and they yeah. won't even come across they won't just think anything yeah, of it from the child's like, perspective is it still wrong to kill them oh yeah I guess okay so it's but not again, it, it doesn't only, become right because still, everyone's doing it that's, that's what I'm saying I think you can compare to like I said just killing like there's just complete difference to it no 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 I, well, I, I was it. talking about how I was showing you how social norms because everyone does it does not make it right you know what I'm saying yeah okay because like the the, car, the child still doesn't want to be killed. Yeah, but I like and the, the child, the, the child the animal, doesn't want to be killed. But the animal doesn't know it's going to be killed, so therefore. What are you talking about? A baby does. doesn't know that a, that a gun is a gun, and does that mean I can shoot the baby if they don't know? I don't know. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah, like I'm, all I'm saying is you have to be consistent when you make these. I'm teaching you how to think, actually, right now. I know. I'm showing you that, that that you're making these these you're using these justifications that you're not consistent with. You don't have any consistency. You know what I'm saying? You're saying it's okay to kill the pig, not okay to kill the dog. You haven't shown any real reason that that should be different. It's just because you prefer... <laughs> yeah, it's, I, it's your societal I suppose, conditioning. I suppose I don't have a proper argument against this. Just, it's what I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, It's good that you're thinking it. Have you ever thought this deep into that? No, I actually haven't. Prefer. Do you think differently about killing animals? Like, that you've been told are okay to kill? I just... Any... Thing that comes on play that's just like said the social norm fine fair game you don't see an issue with c- creating a, a demand for animals to be slaughtered that are just like dogs in all the ways that matter dogs cats no like you can't yeah you just can't do it like i said farm animals pigs yeah. and cows can yeah okay and you don't have a really good reason to do that just society does it so it's okay it's just yeah pretty much yeah do you, will you always follow what society does yeah pretty much I'm, okay. I'm so you never stand on your own yeah, I'm a follower, I'm not a leader. Okay. But yeah, so I, that's interesting, I'm different. I would prefer to look around and analyse the rightness and wrongness of things. And um, you might, I have listen to my conscience and I go, you know what? Those cows, those pigs, those chickens, those fish, they, they don't deserve that so I can have some pleasure. I think it's good to be consistent and not pick and choose, you know? And then, um, but yeah, I guess we're di- we are yeah, just different. different. So I guess you probably wouldn't just run out and go start like, have you seen this film? Dominion? No. Then you can see actually how they treat animals. This one's uh, UK based if you want to see what they actually do to animals so you can get that humane thing out your head. Alright. And then humane murder, you agree that that's not a thing, hey? <sighs> nah, fair enough. No. You can't say that killing I an can't. animal is humane if they, unless they want to die and they're suffering and you're doing a mercy yeah, killing. But yeah, that, that's fair enough. Like, but I still think at the end of the day, people want me. It's a massive demand. It needs to be done nonetheless. I just, there's no stopping it. It's just you may as well just carry on with the way it is. So, so your argument is it's, it's going to keep going. There's no stopping it, so I might as well just keep. I join in with it. Yeah, yeah. That's that's the argument for me. Yeah. I'm sorry you feel that way, mate. But it was good talking yeah, to you. Too, mate. Take care, All buddy. Best. You don't want to take this just for curiosity's sake, because you might want to. Oh, well, I mean, look, you know what, curiosity. I'll take it, I'll take it, just I'll curiosity, bro. Like you'd look into it one day. Right. You might sit there and get bored and. So, mate, take care, buddy. Right. See ya. I hope that most people watching do not agree <laughs> with him, but yes. <laughs>